want to keep your senior pet fit and active, just because they're getting older, it doesn't mean that they get to become one with the couch, although Jordy would probably like that. Regular activity is just as important for our senior pets as it is for puppies and adults. First of all, the right level of activity for your senior dog is going to be personal to them. I've seen 10-year-old Labradors who are going on longer walks than six-year-old Terriers, so it's up to you. It is a partnership with your veterinarian to determine what's safe and comfortable for your dog. When your dog turns seven or eight, this is when we generally class them as a senior, though this may come slightly earlier for larger and giant breeds and slightly later for smaller breeds. For example, we may note signs of aging in a Chihuahua closer to 10, whereas Great Danes are considered seniors from around the age of six. At these points, it's common to find that a pet's exercise limits are lower than before. And as pets age, it's possible for their metabolism to slow down. So it's more likely their joints might experience some discomfort so they can inherently become less active. If you notice your pet is slowing down, you should get them checked over by your veterinarian to rule out contributing health conditions. These might include pain coming from arthritis, organ dysfunction like kidney disease, or even hearing or sight loss. It's also important to follow your dog's lead here. If they seem tired or resistant to their regular routine, it may mean they're telling you that the exercise is too much or that there's an underlying issue. However, it is important for their overall health to keep up gentle, regular, low impact exercise. One simple adjustment can be taking them on shorter, gentler walks, and this could be more frequently if they can manage it, or the same number if that's more comfortable. Keep an eye on the temperature outside when planning your walks as outdoor temperatures will have a greater impact on our seniors. I'd be vigilant around the mid to late teens mark or just below 70 Fahrenheit. We know that older pets are at greater risk of overheating and heat stroke. The same goes for colder weather. If it's snowing or icy out, then it is okay to switch it out for some indoor alternatives. I would definitely consider getting your senior pup a well-fitting dog coat and booties for winter walking. You may also want to consider different types of lower impact activity for your senior dog. If you have access to a safe dog-friendly body of water, swimming or scheduled hydrotherapy is a great low impact way to get your dog moving without putting as much strain on their joints. Dogs can use a lot of energy when swimming, so we need to keep these sessions short and sweet. Many senior dogs are also still puppies at heart, so they love to play. Gentle games of fetch or short bursts of playing with their favorite toys at home can be a great form of exercise, though you may want to help them avoid jumping or twisting if you can. Puzzle feeders are another great way that we can get mental stimulation in for these guys as well. This goes for our senior kitties too. Puzzle feeders, short bursts of play with Mousy on a string are both great ways for keeping your kitty active as they get older. It's important to keep in mind that for some senior dogs and cats, especially those with chronic health conditions like arthritis, pain relief and joint support is commonly needed to keep them moving. For dogs with these issues, it's a good idea to consult your vet on the right type of gentle strength and flexibility exercises that can help their mobility. The right physical therapy can help build and maintain strength and muscle mass without causing more discomfort or trauma to the joints. This might include some basic obedience training exercises as well on a non-slippery surface, such as sit, stand, and lie down. Exercises like these can help tone your older dog's abdominal wall, spine, shoulders, and hips. Finding an exercise routine that works for them is essential for maintaining muscle mass, keeping them at a healthy weight, and supporting joint health. And don't forget, mental stimulation is equally as important for seniors, and regular activity is a great way to provide that.